Time for the hot topic buzz. That was Democrat Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez still trying to blame Trump responding to Fox News' Hillary Vaughn yesterday. She's blaming the country's deficit and debt on former President Trump's tax cuts. In 2017, the Congressional Budget Office projected Trump's tax cuts would drop tax revenues by $1.1 trillion. Meanwhile, last year's estimates are expected to be $570 billion higher for the same period. Uh, we also should mention, Cheryl, that on Joe Biden's watch, the Democrats agreed with Joe Biden to borrow $5.8 trillion mm -hmm. just in two years. Because the stimulus spending that has been out of control, in particular in 2022, when President Biden was in office, not Trump, Biden, that is what has led to rampant inflation. That is what has led to the Fed having to now take on the economy and try to basically destroy the U.S. economy to get interest rates and inflation under control. So here we are because of President Biden and Democrats and AOC has a has no room to talk about out of control spending when she has done nothing but push her own pet projects for as far as climate change and green building regulation here in New York City. That has all been under her. So yeah. all they're trying to do is just use the, the word Trump to try and deflect on what they have done. Yeah. And Brandon, even as we continue to face price hikes on every thing out there. They still want to spend more money. They're trying to come up with ways to forgive student debt as we speak. Yeah, I mean, I, they say a broken clock is right twice a day. I'm not uh, sure uh, AOC is correct that frequently. You know, there's facts and there's opinions here. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act contributed about $1.9 trillion to the national debt. Now, we've seen time and time again this Democratic administration and Congress over the past two years spend far more than that, including the American Rescue Plan Act, spent more than the uh, Tax Cuts and Jobs Act just right out of the gate, a few months into this Biden uh, administration. And we've seen spending go up about 23 percent over the past two years. Cheryl mentioned all of the COVID related spending. That's trillions and trillions of dollars. Listen, the facts are there. AOC is wrong on this issue. I get that she doesn't like the tax cuts, but that doesn't mean that they are driving up the debt the way that she is claiming. She's just flat out yeah. wrong. Well, they just want to keep giving out stimulus and money, uh, and that's where they are. We'll see if the GOP can change anything in the new House majority. Cheryl and Brandon, stay right there. The next hour of Mornings with Maria begins right now.